good afternoon. How is it going? Monday is tomorrow by 5 p.m. And uh, tomorrow by 12, 12 to uh, 1 p.m. we will be doing the... Uh, so I hope you are doing well. I gave you about uh, how many now? Good number. Let's do... I gave you a lot, sir. Let's do some more. Okay, so we've already covered the Caribbean. Then we have the spherical. And then today we are going to look at the Laplace's equation in the cylindrical coordinates. Laplace's is limited for the coordinates. So we use 1 over R Kali by Kali R even R Kali B by Kali R plus 1 over R squared Kali squared d by Kali squared Kali phi squared plus Kali squared d by Kali z squared equal to zero. That is following the Kali squared d is equal to the del squared b is equal to zero being the Laplace's equation. And we shall, for this case, call this one our equation 1, where we shall have our potential V varying with uh, the R, the phi, and the Z. And the application of these cardinals, if we took a cylinder, now, the cylindrical coordinates would be for any point on the sides of the cylinder would depend on how far away from the center our z is the side will give us the size of the cylinder. So, where you see a green bulging is <coughs> four, meaning that it starts at small green, becomes bigger and bigger, that is the R. In some of the books, you find they are using oh. for cylindrical uh, spherical coordinates where we had R. In some books, R. In some books, you find S. So you just need to know which, which uh, notation they use. You don't need to worry. And you just need to know what is a given textbook using as the notation. So the uh, on the bottom, if you look at the bottom of the uh, city, the angle swept by any plane, uh, any plane between the center and the, the surface, that angle that will be swept is the one which we take as our five. So we then can use this one and uh, write it in more nice way. And then the height of the liquid, if you were to fill up your, uh, your, your cylinder with the liquid, the height of the liquid, as you keep adding in, which will be the blue you'll be seeing in the animation, is what we have as that's the, the interpretation on the diagram of our R5 and Z fragments. So I have a Z. I have the X, I have the Y, and for any point on this, on this other cylinder, it has the Z, and it has this projection of the point, and this will be our 5, this will be our 
The solution by separation of variables The solution by separation of variables requires to put V R phi Z to equal to so we now bring introducing the capitals capital R R. What is capital phi? How does the capital phi look? So the capital phi is the psi which is uh, this you've met in the quantum mechanics and then we have our capital C and I'll take this to be our equation too and I am not take note that uh, here in uh, cylindrical coordinates is the same as the R along the R plus R at the phi along the phi plus the Z along the Z. And drag phi will be equal to Kali V by Kali R, R plus 1 over R Kali V by Kali phi phi plus kali v by kali z z along the z whereas the volume the change in volume the tau will be the same as r g r phi z now if we use equations 2 and 1 using equation 2 and 1 that is by putting these capitals in the Laplace's equation which was our equation 1 we will end up with 1 of the R I don't know. 
model. So now our Laplace's equation becomes so Laplace's equation becomes <coughs> Laplace's equation becomes one over R R dr e nu r dr the small r plus one over r square psi square psi <coughs> phi squared plus k squared replacing the, the z part uh, then equals to zero multiplying it out by r squared Multiply throughout throughout by R squared yields R over R DDR in R DDR DDR plus one of upside the square upside phi square plus k squared r squared equals zero. Separating out psi, then we will have one over psi the square psi. Phi squared, if we let it equal to minus nu squared, minus nu squared, uh, this is the equation 5. This would imply that the general solution psi phi would be equal to a1 exponential minus i nu phi plus b1 exponential minus i nu phi or we can as well say psi phi is equal to c1 psi nu phi plus b1 cos nu phi. Finally, r over r is r e nu r r plus k squared r squared minus nu squared is equal to zero. Or we can say that r in the r by the blank by the color prime r in the r plus k squared r squared minus nu squared in r equals zero. We can call this one equation six. So in reduce, in reduce x equal to kr, nothing that uh, when this happens, we will have our dx equal to k dr, implies that our dr is equal to 1 over k x in uh, six. So thus equation six becomes x squared the square capital R the x squared plus x Capital R dx plus 
x squared minus nu squared in y is equal to 0. And uh, if we have this as our equation 7, we can as well say that uh, A general representation of equation 7, a general representation of equation 7 is x squared y second derivative plus x y first derivative plus x squared minus n squared in y is equal to 0. And we call this our equation 8. And you can now guess properly that our d squared capital R, the x squared is the one we are calling this uh, y thing compared. Where n where n is a constant, where n is a constant, and it's called, and it's called the order, it's called the order of the Bessel, the order of the Bessel function, why? The Bessel function y and equation 8 is called Bessel function and its solutions are and its solutions are known as Bessel functions a more general solution a more general solution is given by y x is equal to a j n x plus b j n x where a and b are purely constants are purely Constants. We note that anomalous circumstances. We note that under normal circumstances. Across values 
are the minus f. No mathematicians, no better than my dudes. How to get solutions of these nice differential equations? Equation 3 becomes the square psi the phi squared my, uh, equal to minus k squared psi for which the solution for which the solution is psi phi equals d exponential plus minus i k phi where d is a constant and k is an integer or we can write it as psi phi is equal to ck cos k phi plus dk sine k phi and we can call this one equation 5. Either of these would be able to give us the general solution via the theta, the general solution becomes V R phi is equal to R R, which is uh, this one here, A K R to the K plus B K R to the minus K, even this one here of psi phi, which is C K cos K phi plus b k sine k phi and we sure get our equation 9 for purpose, I mean 8 for purposes of record keeping the constants the constants a k b k C K and D K are found are found by applying boundary conditions to the problem. So this was a general case, but if you are to get a, an actual problem and after getting this actual problem, you have to apply uh, boundary conditions in order to get this, uh, this. I feel like giving out Casa a big one. Yeah. Yes, but I know, I want to see all your hands on the table once I'm to give out. For this cassava, you tell me the other name of this <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm a German physicist. You guys will die for us. Even if you have gone in that textbook, that's why I never bother about you. You look and get this other So slowly, I'll make you feel bad. <laughs> I wish I, I was there. Next time I'll put 100k here. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'm very positive. I <laughs> oh, time is not our friend. There, there is an example about the uh, a canal in Serena. Yes. Pardon? The what? The what? Read it. 
But haven't you even mastered it when you were doing the uh, 14 numbers? <laughs> so, example. Example, we look at the conducting cylinder. The conducting cylinder in the uniform electric field. So, in this case, we consider we consider the effect. of placing a connecting cylinder a connecting cylinder of radius A with its axis coinciding with its axis coinciding with the, Z, with the Z axis, just like the one I drew here, we are having the R, this R here is our A, and we are having its axis, this axis here, coinciding. That means it is sitting vertically. And the cylinder being infinitely, the cylinder, Comma here, the cylinder being infinitely long, infinitely long. Assume that, assume that uh, the absence in the absence of uh, the cylinder in the absence of the cylinder there is a uniform electric field E is equal to E not K roof so now you know how it, it sounds, where to begin, and how to move on. So we meet on tomorrow in a test. I wish you good luck. Where will we have stopped? Yeah, where we have stopped today minus this exam. <laughs> Minus this example. So before this example, up to when we define the rules, the law, and the facts, so you have to read everything. But you can have for maybe I'll I'll update the tests also ranging from when I started teaching the course. Then you gauge how I normally ask. I told you, for example. Every lecture I will tell you what I bring normal. So if you are not attentive, that's your problem. See you tomorrow.